Good evening, friends. Uh, I'm Dr. Vinay Krengen, founder of Search Test. And today I have with me Dr. Jagdeep Ajmera, who is ranked two in uh, AIMS urology exam and uh, INISS. And I'm incredibly glad to have him here because he's a student of us. And today we're going to discuss with him about what made him click and what made him get over here. So, Jagdeep, how does it feel to be ranked two? It's actually a surreal feeling, sir. I didn't expect I'll get in, I'll get ranked two. I was thinking somewhere around top 10, maybe, but <laughs> rank two is uh, really it's a surreal feeling. Absolutely, man. I think I think there's something very special about being on top and uh, that cannot be explained. Uh, uh, the feeling that you have the choice, that is an uh, unexplainable feeling. So tell us a little more about your journey. Where did you do your UG, PG and uh, also why you want to do urology? Uh, sure, sir. I am uh, Jagdeep Ajmera. I am from Telangana. And uh, I graduated from Ames New Delhi. Then uh, I joined uh, in 2020. And then I joined uh, uh, MS at again Ames New Delhi. And uh, post completion of MS, I joined as a senior resident in Department of Surgery again at Ames New Delhi. So <laughs> all, all through 10 years of experience and 10 years of life at Ames New Delhi. And uh, then what made me go to urology was uh, Actually, at Ames New Delhi, in the general surgery department, we do renal transplant surgery, sir. So, but, and uh, I was fortunate to get into one of those units which does the transplant. And uh, I was pulled towards it during my posting uh, in the transplant uh, period. And uh, so that was one reason. And uh, after uh, going to the super specialty rotations, there I liked the minimal invasive surgeries more in the urology. And uh, so I finally took that route. Absolutely. I think uh, this tells us the importance of uh, super specialty exposure during MS general surgery days. Uh, and that's what you get at premium institutes like Ames New Delhi because you get to see a variety of cases. Uh, Nitona, the real problem we face these days is that a lot of students want to do only GI or Onco because the general surgery, core general surgery offers only that exposure. But getting exposure to say renal transplant or you know uh, complex minimal access surgeries during your MS days, that widens your outlook. To be honest, uh, for me, uh, uh, the reason why I took pediatric surgery was exposure uh, during my MS days. And I think that matters quite a bit. Uh, quite so, so, so great. And uh, tell me, how did you do uh, focus your preparation? Like, uh, uh, how did you, did you take a break from work or did you study with work or like, how, what is your schedule? Uh, uh, actually after MS, I, during MS, I gave MRCS part A, sir. And post MS, I wanted to give part B and go to abroad UK. So I, after MS, I actually didn't uh, think of INI and uh, NEET and then I gave MRCS part B, I cleared it and then I was waiting for GMC registration. But due to some personal reasons, again, I withhold, <laughs> kept myself and uh, uh, I decided to stay back in India. So I started my preparation uh, in last, uh, maybe November, December around, November, you know, I started preparation. Before that, I didn't even see the urology books also. <laughs> so. Uh, I started in November and then uh, six months, at least four, 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 five months of uh, full study hours, sir. Nearly six, six hours per day, regularly, every day, six to eight, six hours. But did you quit work or did you do it while working itself? Uh, no, no, sir. Uh, uh, we used to have work here as non, as an on -account senior resident, you have to do work here also. So I used to do the work and after work, I used to study at least when you have some days, you'll have more work. Some days you'll have less work. So when I have less work, uh, I used to study for six hours around. And when I used to have more work, I study one, two hours, but I, I used to keep it every day. I have to study every day. I have to study. Okay. So I know as being from Ames, I know that uh, all my colleagues who have tried before, uh, who gave exam uh, in uh, April and November uh, last time. So I know that they didn't get better ranks, but they prepared more than me. I know I knew that. And uh, I knew that they were ahead of me. So I should keep more effort. I should uh, put more hearts to study uh, than them. So I kept that in mind and I studied. I think that's incredible, man. I think that's this is kind of motivation. Uh, having peers who are also studying is very important is what I feel. Yeah, if, you, if you don't see people studying along with you, na, the, the motivation <laughs> to study does not come. Does and you come? know what kind of when you are with the top people around you, these, I mean, your colleagues are also brilliant people, I'm sure. Yeah. And... Yeah. When you're studying with them, I think that makes a whole lot of a difference. So, uh, like uh, you were telling me uh, when we spoke on call uh, yesterday that, you know, uh, you use a search test question bank. So what, how did, what role did search test play in the preparation? Because you told me that, you know, you use only this thing. Yeah. Uh, 
so first i asked uh, you might have interacted already with cyril sir my the last year talk yeah, yeah, cyril cyril is good friend yeah yeah so he is my co- he is my batchmate so i asked him after the clearing his exam i asked him how to study and all that and he's like uh, he, there is no need to study campbell at all <laughs> he clear he told it clear crystal clear there is no need to study campbell and then he was like you can join any coaching institute but there are some drawbacks with each each coaching institute so he was like make one notes and then follow some uh, he actually suggested sarji test sir he said he suggested that sarji test question bank is very good then uh, and he suggested that you make one notes and uh, add points to it add points to it whatever whatever you can so i actually followed that first i was uh, i actually took the, the pdf of uh, vice academy notes sir which my seniors passed on so i took it and i gave it one study first for one month around and then i started uh, while second reading i started uh, solving uh, such test question bank and it was very helpful all the matlab whatever the points which were missed in the campbell in the notes that were actually given in that and the explanations were very detailed i even solved some other q banks also but none of them were as uh, what do you call as extensively explained as such test those were very helpful and uh, even the uh, towards the end i even gave i even took the you have said, actually the one of the most uh, uh, fascinating or interesting thing about such test app was that there is uh there is uh, separate things separate uh, what do you call separate subscription for each thing like if you want a q bank you have separate subscription if you want a grant test you have separate subscription if you have general surgery you have separate subscription so it becomes very easy for like I, no one thinks three four times to just buy it so i even took the gt pack also towards the end i gave five gts each 60 questions each and so that was also very helpful sir actually the question bank was very very helpful and i found that none of the other question banks were as near to uh, the aims entrance as such just i think uh, i i i must convey this information to dr dirish dirish is a urologist uh, urologist he's a urologist he's also about to start his fellowship in the us as well so he was the one who created the search test question bank for urology and i think i am absolutely delighted to uh you know hear this from you because it means a lot for the entire team who has crafted the question bank and you're also a small group of surgeons who are running search test so uh, i think it means a lot to us that you know these this validation is something which matters to us quite a bit uh, uh thank you so much uh uh, uh jagdeep i think uh, this is this is very heartwarming to hear about just so jagdeep uh what do you want to become where do you want to stay you want to go back to telangana you want to be uh, in delhi or work in a central institute how do you envision your future for yourself i know there's a personal question <laughs> you can no, answer no, no, the way no, you want sorry. but <laughs> it's okay sir. i actually uh, i uh, had a even during ug also i was uh, not uh, visionary enough to write mle step one step two all my colleagues in my ug also here aims here at aims everyone writes step one step two step one step two i actually had that wish to go abroad and study at least for one year explore the areas there and see what kind of surgeries they do how do they, how do they do how do they treat patients what are their outcomes just just for the sake of one exposure so i'll after completing my mch i'll go at least one year or two years abroad sir uh, absolutely. absolutely that for any fellowship uh, that depends on what i like in the urology where i like minimal invasive or renal transplant more so any mm. fellowship i'll go one two years abroad and then i'll come back and go back to the lang great man great man so one last message i want you to give for students what advice would you give for anyone preparing for inss urology that uh, anyone who is preparing for inss it's very crackable you just need 6 hours per day 6 to 8 hours per day for at least 3 4 months and you solve you follow any one notebook doesn't matter which one follow one notebook and solve actually solve only such test questions <laughs> that i'll suggest from my point of view and uh, that was very helpful add points points to it add points to it repeat the same same revise the same uh, uh, notes again and again and again just be consistent in your effort at the end of the after giving the exam you should not feel like i should have done this i should have done that i should have done that you should not have regret just give your 100% effort and uh, you'll crack it that's what hey, thank you so much man thank you so much this means a lot uh from the bottom of my heart i wish you all the very best the entire search test team dr op me sarva dr dheesh we all wish you a very 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 bright future and mm-hmm. i really pray and hope that you achieve your dreams and you make your family and your entire society proud you thank are you. a gem to the society thank you so much buddy thank you thank you